What's up everyone? This is Ringside Rain and the long wait is finally over. We are now on the road to WrestleMania starting with Royal Rumble 2021. Now in this video, we're going to talk about my top three picks for the men's Royal Rumble and for the women's Rumble as well. Now in return, I'd like for you guys to post your comments down below on who your top three picks are. But first, I'm going to ask you guys to please hit that like button for me. It's not going to cost you anything. It's free, but it's going to help me out. Thank you so much in advance. Now, let's start off with the Men's Royal Rumble. My top three pick starts with the Rated R Superstar, Edge. Now, Edge made his huge comeback at last year's Royal Rumble. Now, he had this... Um, feud with Randy Orton, but his return was basically cut short due to an injury. Now this year, he declared his entry to the 2021 Royal Rumble. Will this be the moment, that shining moment, the huge comeback that Edge has been hoping for? Well, we will find out. My number two pick also piggybacks another huge comeback. Braun Strowman, who made his return on Friday Night SmackDown. Now, if Strowman wins, I see him challenging Goldberg for the WWE title. So, ding dong, there goes my prediction too for uh, Drew McIntyre versus Goldberg. I actually think that Goldberg would probably win it because I'm all about what moves the story forward. And if Braun Strowman wins the Royal Rumble, I can see him challenging Bill Goldberg for the WWE title. Moving on to my top pick for the men's Royal Rumble. Same reasoning as you know for Braun Strowman. My number one pick to win the men's Royal Rumble is the fiend Bray Wyatt. Now, ever since he got burnt, we have not seen The Fiend. Could Royal Rumble 2021 be the moment that we finally see The Fiend again? And, and, and it will be nice if he actually ends up winning the men's Royal Rumble because again, I am thinking that Goldberg would defeat Drew McIntyre for the WWE title. Now, The Fiend can go after Bill Goldberg for the WWE title because Goldberg defeated him at a Super Showdown last year. So that could be a good angle between the two of them going on to WrestleMania. So those are my top three picks, Edge, Braun Strowman, and The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Moving on to the Women's Royal Rumble, my third pick would be and this is this might surprise you guys. Uh, it's gonna be Nikki Cross. I know it's very random, but see, ever since she lost Alexa Bliss by her side, we haven't really seen much of her. And and I've seen her promos on Instagram. You know how you know she's hoping that she would win the Royal Rumble, and how she you know she wouldn't be the first Scottish woman to be signed by WWE if she didn't have anything to offer. And I truly believe in that. And I do hope that maybe the Royal Rumble 2021 will be the night for Nikki Cross, the miracle that needs to happen for her. Because I truly think that Nikki Cross deserves the spotlight. And, and you know, it really sucks that she lost that time, you know, on her because she lost Alexa Bliss by her side. So hopefully, even if she doesn't win the Rumble, maybe something will happen and, and, and people will kind of like, you know, start seeing her again more on SmackDown. My number two pick would be the EST of the WWE, Bianca Belair. Now, ever since she got drafted to the main roster, I thought that Bianca Belair has been kicking ass. And this whole storyline with Bailey, it's funny, it's cute, but I think she deserves that push to challenge either Sasha Banks, the SmackDown Women's Champion, or Asuka, the Raw Women's Champion. Granted that they retain their titles, 
But either way, I think Bianca Belair deserves that moment. Whether she wins it or not at WrestleMania, I honestly don't care. I just want her to get that push because she is definitely talented. My number one pick would be Twisted Bliss, Alexa Bliss. Now, a side note on this one, if Alexa Bliss did not become this whole you know, new character, this Twisted Bliss character, the friend of the Fiend character, she probably won't even be my number one pick. She probably won't even be in my top three picks. However, this storyline between Bliss and the Fiend, you know, joining forces somehow, or Alexa being infected by the Fiend, I truly like this storyline. So maybe if the Fiend ends up winning, it will be nice if Alexa Bliss would win the Women's Overall Rumble, and maybe she'd challenge Asuka for the Raw Women's title. Granted, that Asuka is still the women's, uh, the Raw Women's Champion come WrestleMania. Now, what do you guys think? Post your comments down below, and please hit like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Also, if you haven't yet, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ringside Rain. And as always, check out my reactions video after this year's Royal Rumble. Once again, thank you guys for joining me. This has been Ringside Rain and TTYL, Jabroni.